Hey, this is Casey at Schaefer Chevrolet in Pinconning, and this is our uh, 20, or I'm sorry, 2009 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. Uh, just gonna do a little walk around video here for you so you can uh, check this thing out with me. <clears throat> so, first impressions of this thing is it's a really nice looking Jeep uh, from everything I can tell so far. It looks like someone like definitely took some pride in this thing and took care of it. Um, you know, just first impressions from it and everything so far. So, I'm gonna start um, up front here. As far as like your uh, gauges and everything, uh, no check engine lights or anything of that sort, everything is looking good. Um, I'm still kind of in the middle of testing everything out, electric wise and whatnot, but um, tell you, it's got these really cool uh, wild boar, uh, the old crap bars or whatever everybody calls them um they're a little unique a lot of times they're not like these solid ones like that they're just more like kind of a, something more like that um but it's got the one here too so really neat kind of a unique thing um all the windows and stuff like see all working the interior is super clean in this thing like it's got this the leather um and it's got this floor mats, uh, black carpet, and it's, I mean, really super clean. I'm impressed by this overall condition of the inside. And I mean, for a Jeep that's now, what, almost 13 years old, um, you know, I saw some rust proofing stuff like underneath the hood and a couple other spots. And like I said, it looks like someone, you know, definitely like did not put this thing away wet. They, they kept it pretty clean and pretty nice um we had a couple things we talked about up here with your um with the hard top cover that's on it now it's actually super duper easy you've got these um basically these little locks that lock in place there so if you wanted to pop these out and kind of have like a makeshift sunroof uh you can do that you just uh, move them over and then there's this latch here um and it basically they just pop on out for you so um, there's like a one piece, a second piece here on the passenger side, and then like a larger piece in the back um, for the like the back seat area of the rest of the vehicle. Um, I'm gonna get back out here and just kind of keep walking around there for you. But you know, a lot of times on on vehicles of this age, like you'll see, um, you like right there. That's that residue stuff. That is your rust proofing. Um, and like I said, that's, I think what's helped keep this thing as nice as it is. Tires on, it's got real big meaty Cooper tires. I think they got a fair amount of life left on them still and everything. Um, oh, one thing I did not notice until I walked up close, this, uh, with the bumper here, this piece looks like you could definitely take it off. Um, underneath this ring here. You might have to like spray paint it just to make the paint match black everywhere else, but um, You know and even if you did want to get a new bumper You're looking at a couple hundred bucks or so and you can get one very similar like maybe even one that's already got the winch plate um, Where that, that winch would set right there if you wanted to get one um, That's what you could do um, But yeah, it looks like you could just take that um, that big front bar off here so to make it less of a brush guard and just more of um more of like uh you know just a normal bumper on your jeep wrangler and then um just kind of a shot of underneath the hood here like i said i found this rust proofing stuff and it, it's like kind of oily looking um but it's it, like i said it's pretty much the best rust proofing solution they put on these vehicles um is is that particular uh, like oily material and you see it on the, like the components in here but that's definitely a good thing so and then just like as far as conditional things like so far I think this little tiny tiny little spot of touch-up I don't even know if you can see it yeah maybe a little bit there that's like the only thing so far I've really seen on the vehicle it, with that kind of stuff like dents and dings and a couple of little scrapes down the wheel well you know probably where some branches brushed up next to it but again for a, a Wrangler a lot shoot a lot of five-year-old Jeep Wranglers are 
beat up from going through the woods and this one you know has a couple little spots here is some touch-up paint in the back there um, on that back wheel well but it's really frankly all, not all that noticeable and compared to all the other ones I'd say you're way ahead with this uh, back seat area um, you got I'll have to mess with that later when I have a free hand but um, got this really cool uh, mat here the seats look really good um, not seeing any rips or tears or anything doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything like that in here um, it's got this big cargo mat for the back the infinity speakers um, another uh, couple like handlebars in the back here a little bit different design on this but it's the same uh, like wild boar brand so cool little uh, Jeep accessories like that um, and then of course the glass will pop up for you um, as well and then taking the doors out if you want to do that um, that's pretty simple to just pop on off so um, just wanted to do a little walk around video here for you to get you just a better overall look at this thing I really think you guys would like it um, if you have any other questions please let me know but I just wanted to send you a little something here so you could check it out um, being that you're you know kind of far away here so <clears throat> there's a shot of like I said you got like a one panel on the drivers two on the passenger and then there's a bigger piece uh, on the back so awesome thanks for watching the video guys um, got any questions please let me know have a great day